let's go to Walmart and get some more food. And I ran out of toothpaste as well, so. I am still in the parking lot, guess what? Uh, my flight has been delayed, and so I'm spending a couple more hours in my car that I had intended. had a total of four plus hours of delay today which obviously came out of my rest period so instead of having uh, 17 hours in between shifts now I have um, 13 12 I set my alarm I have 10 minutes or 10 minutes 10 hours before I have to get up because obviously girls can't just get up and roll out of bed you know we have to groom and all that good stuff so um, I have 10 hours from this moment and I'm currently making my dinner, which I forgot to show you guys what I bought, but um, it's a medley of broccoli, uh, cauliflower, and carrots. So I have that. It's um, steaming in the microwave right now and that's going to be dinner. Good morning. Um, Let's take a look outside. Oof, look at all that. It looks so pretty out there. All that green, all those trees. I love it. Oh, let me show you guys what I uh, brought with me. That I bought at, um, okay, at Walmart. All right, so this bag right here, has cauliflowers, broccoli, and um, carrots. I have an apple. I ate my pear yesterday. These are sweet peppers. Roast beef. I also got mild cheddar cheese. And I got two packages of dill pickles in case I want to snack on something. And because I got these, I got a little bit of butter. This one was um, garlicky. And then I got some, see, when I went to the store, yeah, I, I guess it does say blue cheese. I didn't see the blue, I just saw cheese. So I thought it was cheese crumbles, but it's blue cheese, which I don't really care for, but I put some on top of this yesterday and I microwaved it. And it was okay. And now I'm waiting for my coffee. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I have a double Baltimore layover. So I'm gonna see if I can keep the same room for both nights because I forgot I was going to Cancun. <laughs> I thought I was going to Fort Myers, but that's not that's not uh, this trip. And um, so, since I have all that food and they don't allow you to bring into the States any food uh, like fruits and vegetables and I don't want to get rid of it because I just bought it. I spent like 40 bucks. So I'm going to ask if I can keep the same room so I can leave my food in the refrigerator in my room and still have the same room. That way they don't have to clean it in between or anything like that. But yeah, even though... All the stuff was bought in the USA and we don't get off the plane at all once we get to Cancun we basically deplane and replane everybody and then uh, leave no one gets off the plane they don't allow you to bring back things that were bought in the US which is I think is boo. boo. all right guys it's almost 6 p.m. it's time to go downstairs for my shadow and again, it's one uh, leg today from Fort Lauderdale to Baltimore so far. Everything looks good, no delays so far. So, fingers crossed. Let's get going. Let me uh, turn off the TV. I don't want to show the other side of my mask. Let's see. Oh. All right. 
Let's get some work. I'm in Baltimore. So I'm um, going to probably eat, I, I brought uh, roast beef and uh, some mild cheddar and I also have some sweet pepper. So I will probably munch on that and that will be my dinner and then I will save the vegetables that I have for tomorrow. Let me um, undress and <laughs> undress. And <laughs> it's so stupid and um, eat something so as of this moment I have exactly seven hours to before I have to get up and get ready for work which is not gonna happen obviously because I still need to eat and get ready for tonight <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I've been feeling a little scratchy throat recently and with the um the increase in covid um uh, sickness it's going around it's like oh my god luckily i have i think like 13 days after this trip um i am on vacation and i will be home for like 13 days in a row so if i do get sick uh hopefully it happens while i'm on vacation so i don't have to call out sick so also, before I go, my ears were not popping uh, today when we were descending. I never usually have any um, troubles with um, pressure in my ears, but tonight, the whole time, um, they didn't pop. And then right towards the end, I got like, and this side kind of, I guess, um, unstuck or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, I hope that, that that's not a sign that I am... Um, getting sick yeah I don't know we'll see here you go peppers I got some of those roast beef there you go
<laughs> no. I don't want to go. <laughs> um, let's see how it looks outside. It's still the same. I think I got maybe three hours, if that. Not cool. Okay. Gotta get ready. I'm going to leave all my food here because when you go into Mexico, you cannot bring anything back even though you bought it in the US. So here is all my stuff. Uh, hopefully it'll be here tonight because we're coming right back. I got my veggie, so that'll be my dinner, hopefully. And uh, you know, let's see what happens. Let's go to work. So we're gonna miss this one. Oh yeah, I have it. It's uh, 6 36 p.m. right now, and this is the first time I'm eating real food. I left pretty much all my food here. I had them um, keep it in the refrigerator. So on the plane, I, I took a few of the sweet peppers. I took a packet of the pickles and I popped some popcorn this morning, which I thought might be gluten-free, but the bag didn't say gluten-free, so I ended up throwing it away. I didn't eat it. It's all I've had all day and it's 6.30 p.m. And uh, so I'm gonna make my veggies, steam them up. I will probably munch on some roast beef and um, cheese until that's done because it'll, it'll take like, I don't know, six, seven minutes or so. Why have I planned done that? Oh, by the way, uh, one of our girls, um, she forgot she had um, sweet peppers as well in her bag. And um, on the way out through customs, a dog <laughs> sniffed her out. <laughs> he ratted her out. And so then she had to get detained and uh, they had to x-ray her bags and a whole bunch of stuff. We were waiting for about 20 minutes for them to get done with her. So lesson learned, do not take anything into Mexico that you can't bring back. Even though we don't even get off the plane and all this stuff is bought in the U.S., they won't let you bring it in, into the U.S. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I left it here at the hotel. Mm. Look what's happening out there. Um, I turn on the heat because it's cold in here. It's, um, I think they're, um, throwing 
the icer on the ground. Um, I don't remember all those cars being covered in snow, but it must have um, snowed last night at some point. Mm. Right, so I got like maybe two hours of sleep last night. Sorry, my voice is um, iffy. Um, I thought I was having a double, like either Fort Myers or Myrtle Beach layover, but that's not until next, my next trip. And um, I didn't bring my jacket with me or anything, so all I have is my sweater. And I don't know if it's been, you know, the fact that I've been going in and out of hot climates and coming into these, you know, 30 degree weathers up here. But um, my throat is itchy and I'm sneezing and God, people are going to think I have COVID now. Um, it's probably just from the weather and my stupidity for not bringing my jacket with me um anyway i'm gonna have some coffee i've only slept like two hours i couldn't sleep last night um so yeah i'm gonna try to wake up and have some coffee um it's five i have to be downstairs by 6 50 the latest so crappy day and I just found out I have a three hour sit in Houston today we go from Baltimore to Houston sit for three almost four hours and then we go home to um, Orlando so yeah it's gonna be a really really long day again followed by a long drive so yay I'm looking forward to today I'm gonna go downstairs. I took a pill. I took some acetaminophen to try to keep my sneezing and coughing to a minimum because I'm lead on this trip and you know you have to make announcements and stuff and you know uh, everybody just you, you sneeze and everybody assumes you have COVID so the last thing I want to do is sneeze. Alright, off to work.